I'm on a cruise ship on the Yangtze River in the Hubei province's Yichang City. It's a beautiful night, it's a beautiful city, and it's very relaxing. But part of me is still pretty excited because tomorrow we're going to go to the Three Gorges Dam. The Three Gorges Dam in Hubei province's Yichang is the world's largest hydroelectric project. Everyone knows it generates electricity, but fewer people know how it also powers transport throughout the country. So we've gone all the way from down there to up here really quickly, and it was a smooth ride. I'm Eric Nilsson, and behind me is the Three Gorges Dam, which serves much of the shipping throughout China. I'm here to learn more about the impact of this man-made wonder. This is the three gorges dam. There are 256 gorges, 128 gorges. It is used to the weight of the population. It is the weight of the population. The highest is 113 meters. 相当于四十层楼的高度。刚才我们看到那个船从上游坐到我们升船机，现在我们升船机到下游花大概花了八分钟。从上游到下游，整个的通航时间大概在一个小时不到。这就是我们世界上目前的最大的电梯。The Three Gorges Dam has improved navigation and shipping. It's an important link between the coastal economies and the inland cities. And now, large freighters can easily pass through the dam. To reach southwest China's Chongqing municipality. Chongqing's buildings seem to tumble down its hillsides. This train makes getting around a sometimes unique experience. It's easy to get lost on these twisting streets, and right now I'm lost on a super long escalator. So rather than trust the tourist map, I'm going to ask the locals how to go. Downtown Chongqing hosts two cross river cableways built in 1986. The Yangtze River Cableway offers unique perspective on how traffic traverses the city's peaks. People disembarking from boats down below have to walk uphill, making carrying goods difficult. Hey, hey, hey. Ooh, it's heavy. It's not easy to balance either, I've got to say that. These porters are called the Bang Bang Army, and they've contributed to Chongqing's development and have become cultural icons of the city. But they're disappearing as the city's transportation improves. I wish Li Chuanxu the best. Chongqing's topography and location at the juncture of central and western China have hindered its development since ancient times. It used to take 26 hours to drive from downtown to Qianjiang district. It's hard to imagine, but true. I'm about to go meet a motorcycle club. We're going to have a quick chat, and they're going to take me for a ride. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> 我们的平均年龄呢，应该是六十以上。平常呢，就在我们重庆的周边走一下。好，如果有准备呢，我们到什么西藏啦、新疆啊、四川啦。我们以前出去呢，到西藏以前的道路没有这么好，以前道路啊，差不多要半个月。现在呢，一个星期都可以到了。Today, it only takes four hours. To drive from downtown to the municipality's farthest edges, residents and visitors enjoy ways to get around. Now this is fun. I can definitely understand better now why these guys love their motorcycles so much. The highway opened the land channel along the Three Gorges section of the Yangtze. Around the time, the dam transformed the waterway, which is crucial to the Yangtze River economic belt. The river's cargo capacity. 2.5 billion tons in 2017. 
This is the Yangtze's largest inland port. It has brought prosperity to Chongqing and is integral to central and western China's development. This is our Changjiang This is the This is the Yangtze. From the top, it can go to Sichuan, it can go to Yunnan. From the bottom, it can go to Shanghai. And this is the Yangtze. 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 直接通过我们的这个外环货车，它就走了。后方还有一个呃，连接重庆到上海的一个高速，铁路哎也在我们港口。去年我们整个做了一千三百万吨左右嘛，其中集装箱我们做了大概是三十三万箱，基本上每天我们港岭的船舶都有一二十条在进行一个装卸。Last year, this port was connected to a railway leading to Central Europe, creating a so-called intersection of the Silk Road and the Yangtze River in Chongqing. This connection reduces transport costs for shipping along the Eurasian route. 刚开始的时候，中国半岛仅有一条线，重庆至达州。从去年开始，又增加了一条线，从重庆到广元，到新疆的阿拉山口。最初开始的时候，中国半岛一星期就只有一到两班，组织的货源有限。现在中国半岛一星期十多班，人员有最初的开始十多人。到现在的五十到六十人，在运行平稳操纵方面，对中欧班列的要求是百分之百的安全。重点。Chongqing has overcome the geological and geographical obstacles that have long stood in the way of its development. Today, it facilitates transportation from China's coast throughout the country and to the world. Chongqing has been fully integrated into China's reform and opening up, and its regional development. It has become an international transportation hub through the Belt and Road and the Yangtze Economic Belt, and this is propelling China's hinterlands to open up over time. That includes my next destination, Guizhou Province. I'll explore how one of China's historically poorest areas is also turning its tough terrain into advantages, but in a different way.